Hi, and thanks for dropping by to check out my DIY canvas wall art using Dollar Tree products. Both of these designs are very simple and you can customize it any way you like. If you're interested in that, please stay tuned. Now I'm aware that some Dollar Trees do actually sell canvases, mine doesn't. So I got these from Joanne. You can use whatever size you like. It's totally up to you and your wall, how you want it to look. And basically you start off using some E600 glue. You're gonna outline a heart with the glue and just start applying the stones. I am using the white stones you will find in the craft area that you use for vase fillers or anything like that. Um, I do recommend that you rinse them off because they are dusty and that can cause some barriers when you're trying to adhere it to the canvas using the E600 glue. When making the heart, I realized that using the smaller stones on the outer perimeter to make the heart and the bigger stones in the center of the heart made it fill up easier and was much more um, capable of making that heart shape without it being too distorted. Around this time, I realized, yeah, my heart is a bit too small for my canvas, so I started to apply more stones on the outer perimeter to make it bigger. The canvas has dried for a day, and now it's time to make the word love using the Dollar Tree nautical rope. I use the tape and actual rope on a flat surface to spell out the words so I can know how to apply it on the canvas just to make it much easier versus trying to make it on the canvas without mapping it out first. And it's very, very simple and easy. The one thing I was just like trying to like make it be more defined was the V because with rope, the V and the U look so similar. So just trying to make that V stand out was such a pain in the butt, but I figured it out. And making the E, you wanna make sure that the part that you apply next to the canvas this is actually flush against the canvas you don't want it to loop around the canvas because that makes a hole um, where the rope is not touching the canvas so you want to make sure the rope is touching as much of the canvas as possible to maintain the word love Just to finalize your lovely design, use E600 glue to go right ahead and align the rope where the canvas is to make that stick. Bring out your other canvas as well as whatever flower you're going to use in a picture frame. I'm using a 4x6 but you can use whatever size you like that goes with the design you have in mind. Now I am applying E600 to the flower and adhering it to the canvas. Now to get the picture frame to adhere to the canvas, you're not going to use glue. You're literally going to use the fasteners from behind the picture frame and the canvas itself. You're going to use your X-Acto knife to cut the little lines that the fasteners can go through so that you can bend it from behind the canvas so that it can adhere to it without any extra glue and you're able to change out the picture whenever you want. 